Hi guys, in this video I'm going to tell you about the differences between Python and Ruby and which one is a better choice in a programming language in general. So Python and Ruby are very common for beginners who want to learn Python and Ruby. Um, I wish I started off with Python earlier, it's very easy to learn. As you'd have seen from my other tutorials, the code is very simple and easy to read. To be honest, I haven't used Ruby but I know quite a bit about it so I can tell you now the differences. So both of them were developed in the 1990s, the mid 90s, and Python came before Ruby about four years ago. Um, they both address different needs in the programming community and they're both quite well used. Ruby is used for websites like Airbnb, Hulu, Kickstarter, GitHub, and Python is used for sites like Google, YouTube, and Quora. So they are both very important programming languages and they are still relevant in this day and age, even though they are in the mid 90s. So they're both object oriented, I'll explain what that means afterwards. They're both dynamic and they have a lot of different functionalities. They're very flexible languages. There are a lot of different ways you can do certain things. And languages, in my brief use of the languages like C and C++, they don't offer you as much flexibility and it's also quite a bit harder. So here on the screen is a hello world in Python. So you can just see that right now, very simple. And then here on the screen is hello world in Ruby. So as you can see, those are the two different ones. Um, so it's kind of a preference, but if I were to recommend a programming language because of the experience I have, I'd say Python and I'm not exactly the most technical programmer. I wouldn't be able to do like if someone asked me to do this, I wouldn't be able to just do it. I'd have to find out the different pieces that go into it. So with Ruby, there's more than one way to do the same thing. It's dynamic, object oriented and a general purpose programming language. And a lot of companies use um, Ruby, like I said before, Hulu, Twitter, Zendesk, Basecamp, Shopify, Urban Dictionary, GitHub, and so on. GitHub is very useful for posting your code as well. So with Python, as I was saying before, it's the most understandable way to do something and how it should be done. It's a high level general purpose language, which means it's more readable. So a high level language is like, it's more like English to put it in a, a broad way. Uh, so you've got high level languages and low level languages. Low level languages are languages that are almost um, like binary or machine code. For example, C++ is quite a low level language and C is quite a low level language. So they'd be harder. So if you ever want to look for beginner programs that you want to learn, search for high level languages. So it can be used to write a short script, build an MPI, or even build an object-oriented web spider. So it can build quite a lot of stuff. And again, companies that use it are Google, Yahoo Maps, Dropbox, Venmo, and YouTube. So some uh, languages have specific uses. They're specifically tailored for a certain case. A good example is a language called R. And R is another language that's constantly compared to Python. I'll make a video about that. And it's useful analysis and in the academic world, anyway, you're doing um, maths and statistics. So there are quite a few different languages that Python is compared to, mostly because Python is such a wide language. Obviously, I have some sort of bias, so just uh, factor that in when you're doing this. But in my opinion, Python is the better language to learn. But again, it depends what you want to build. If you're going to be using it for the web, web servers, web security, Python can be used for that. Python is, can actually be used for a lot of things. It can be used for web game development using Pygame. It can be used for quite a lot of stuff really. And it's got a lot of libraries that you can use. So some things you can do with Ruby is um, scrape a website on the internet. I made a web scraper a while ago. I'll try and find that program so I can make a video about it. You can just play random games. You can actually write lines of code that read like English. You can never worry about semicolons. So that's a good thing. Semicolons and colons are very annoying in programming. I predominantly do Swift now. I've been doing Swift for about five or six months, I'd say. And I'm quite getting the hang of it. It's kind of like Objective C, uh, C, C++ mashup, but simpler. And I said those three were the easiest languages to learn, but I think having experience with it helped with Swift and Swift is a lot easier. So if you like this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and make sure you let me know if you want to see any other videos um, that relate to comparing Python to any other languages 
or just any other two random languages i'll do my research on them and i'll check them out so make sure you go to my website instagram and facebook down below and read up some more about this programming